this wide pedestrian boulevard here was at one time the main entrance into the university. And this walkway was actually the roadway. A split boulevard with two lanes of traffic. Which you can see down further heads directly out onto John R. And then you have the buildings on both sides including the engineering building here which is quite a cool structure. I really like the style of this architectural building right here. Look at that. But then again you got the new modern looking building right behind it which is pretty cool too. And look at all the trees just starting to bud out here and it's kind of sad to know that the students have missed their last spring on campus, the senior students at least. But you know, for all the seniors out here and all the students this year who had a sudden departure from campus, it's just such a strange situation. This is one of my regrets is I never got to bring the drone down here and get some good close-ups of the clock tower. If you look real close, the upper parts of the tower appear to be adorned with ceramic tile. And I'm guessing, since it's here in a historical part of Detroit, those are probably from the Puwabic part of, probably from Puwabic pottery, a very famous tile and decorative stonework company. It's been in Detroit over a hundred years. I really like all the architectural detail on this building. The masonry scroll work along with the little decorative emblems in different places between the windows and between the columns. And if you don't take the time to look, you might even miss this almost called a green man applique up here above the very top window on the third floor. Very interesting. This is Callahan Hall, the basketball arena. With a memorial plaque on it. We're going to drive up and see that because I've always wanted to get close to the clock tower and see that memorial plaque on it. I believe it's in memory of the students who served during World War I. But we want to get up there and have a closer look to see. There's so many different buildings here that I don't know what they are. I love this older 1920s type architectural style. This is the chemistry building which has a date that also 1926, same as the engineering building, I believe. But let's go have a quick look at the, uh, oh, this is the Ford Life Science building over here. All right, I was right. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. If you, can read it. if you can't read it, I'll read it for you. To the University of Detroit men who died in the World War 1914 to 1918, our honored dead. And then it lists the names of quite a few students. John DeChamp, Charles Harrison, Lewis Mann, Edward Burns, Thomas Kennedy, Alfred Fuller, Roger McNamara, James Williams, Lionel Eslin, Russell McBerty, William Wilkinson, and Thomas Abery. That's a beautiful building. I say it's got some great tile work. Uh, I believe they said it was a steam-powered clock, whatever that means. I got bad angle there, but it's pretty tall and really quite a fascinating place. I just wanted to, I believe the bottom part is the actual steam plant, the heating plant for the campus. I would love to have gotten a tour inside of it at one point, but that didn't seem like it was possible. All right, we're going to head on out now. may have been an entry road or internal campus driveway at one time as well. I'm not really sure about that, but this is the Commerce and Finance Building over here, also done in that same 1926 architectural style. Let's see, yep, same date, 1926. I think this is where the uh, staff lived or possibly the Jesuit residence. 